Hello, hello, welcome back on Banama Today. You're with me, Elaine Opla. And as promised earlier, we have a very special guest in the studio. We have Mr. Arthur Tan. Hello and welcome. Hello, good morning, Elaine. Good morning. We're very glad to have you here because Thank you very much. we hear that you're a, a little bit of a prodigy, a little bit of a, you know, a entrepreneur of sorts. Perhaps you can tell us a little bit more about uh, yourself because a lot of us don't know about you but would like to find out a little bit more. Thank you so much about the kind words. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, firstly, I'm an alternative investment strategist with okay. Capital Asia Group. All right. And also, that's during the daytime and during the night. I'm an MC host. Ah, okay. So basically, to to sum it up, I talk to make money. Yeah. <laughs> Multi talented. There you go. Uh, when you say alternative investment strategies, now that's that's like a big word out there. It, it doesn't really make sense to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you can share what is alternative investment strategies. Is it like a broker? Is it like a you know you, pe people don't yeah. know? Perhaps yeah. you can share. Uh, well, um, well, it's actually still very new in Malaysia. So alternative investment is um, it's getting uh, a stronger receptiveness among the Malaysians. Okay. Um, what does alternative investment mean? So firstly, from alternative investment is actually an alternative uh, investment product okay. that uh, people out there were able to put their money mm -hmm. and to ensure that the money will grow harder for them. Right. So alternative investment has um, low, lower correlation to the economy of the market. Mm -hmm. So basically, when um, when the economy, you know, like the usual traditional investments, buying shares. okay, like buying shares, buying unit trusts, and also insurance, all these are the very common financial instruments that okay. Malaysians or even people around the world are, are exposed of. to. Yes. Are basically have a proper education and they know what are the importance of it. So a lot of people that do not, you know, understand or knowing what other investments out there okay. you know, that's available for them. And what are these other alternative investments that are available? Okay, all these alternative investments that we have like uh, development banking, we have crude oil project, we have like land banking, mm -hmm. Uh, we also have like commodities like gold, silver, and then some of the products, you know, uh, are really, really good mm. in terms of uh, the transparency and sort of corporate governance, okay. whereby um, people will just need to have more education to understand it better. So, is it a safer option? I mean, I, I don't know whether the the word safe can mm -hmm. be and that's necessarily yeah. used, but is is it a safe enough option to be able to invest in? Well, I think all investments has its pros and cons. That's naturally, yes, yeah, and <laughs> okay. if you want high return. There's always high risk. Right. Okay. Okay. So I this think, is low yield, low returns, low uh, risk. I think it's, uh, it's it's good enough for you to uh, have a good life. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, alternative investment. Perhaps you can. Uh, Illustrate this a little bit more so that if you know what's the kind of uh, outlay you need to have to invest in this so that you know and the general viewer yeah. out there would have a better idea. Okay, for one example, so one of the current product you know that's uh, that's really uh, moving in so like like tsunami and um, will seem to be getting a, uh, a strong overwhelming response uh, from the Asian buyers mm -hmm. uh, is crude oil project. Okay. So uh, the layout is actually, the layout of an investment uh, begins from 5,000 ringgit Malaysia. So Very which affordable. means, yeah, yeah, which means people like, on the street, like the machi machi pachi pachi, is that we're able to put their money right. and as an alternative option yeah. For them, you know, to grow the money. Right. So at the uh, at five thousand ringgit Malaysia only, mm. uh, they were able to get three percent on a quarterly basis. Okay, so and that's like plus, four times a, a year. Plus, there's a fixed payout date as well. Yeah. Right. So every fifteen uh, January. Uh, April 15, right. July 15, and October 15, they'll be getting 3% of the total purchase. All right. So, you know, uh, in one year, it's 12%. Okay, so it means that uh, no matter what happens, you get that 3% uh, return? Yes, exactly. Ah. And, uh, and and basically, the uh, the holding period is only two years, the whole so, entire investment So at the end period. of the two years, you get to either reinvest or look at alternative sources yeah. of investment? Yeah. Oh, well, usually a lot of people usually would rather opt for reinvestment, yeah. Okay. So when they see the returns, they want to ensure that the money grow harder for them keep, so they're keep continuously they put in the money right. yeah okay and uh, we have like um, several projects you know so after one project is done there will be another project as okay. well so you, you, another producing oil fuel then you do line that up for your clients as yes well? absolutely okay. right yeah now uh, we just want to find out a little bit more about yourself did you mm. study to be an investment strategist so to well speak? I think since young I think uh, I was exposed to the world you know of motivation and also finance okay. whereby um, my mom used to bring me you know to uh, all these motivational talks okay. and seeing these people that who have wow. really made it in life okay and uh, uh, they are real young. I can say that they are early twenties, and you know I constantly think. Yourself? Well, I'm not that young. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, don't judge the book by its cover. <laughs> okay, great. 
Uh, I'm also trapped in a young body. Okay. So, um, and then after that, you know, I, I, was, I was moved, you know, by all these young people that who have really made it in life and impact the society and became such a strong influence mm. to the people around them or even the community. So due to that reason, that's why I, I took up um, uh, economics and finance mm. uh, with RMIT University. Mm. And, um, and you went straight into this after school. Well, I, I didn't have the thought actually of going straight in because I was still pretty clueless what should I be doing okay. when I'm in the corporate world. But I think um, um, God blessed me and uh, somehow that I just had some luck. Uh, to actually start up my own financial planning company and there was no turning back. Life is all then. about luck, right? Well, life right, is all right, about luck. A, 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 little little bit bit of, luck. A, a little bit of hard everything. Work, right, right, hard. Place, uh, right, right time, time, right time, right people, right, people, exactly. you know, right environment, exactly. uh, and the right skill sets to be able to do, do that at that point of time. Yes, I can agree more to that. You know. and, and but it all begins from the mindset, actually. There you go. Yeah. And we, we hear that you're also in the entertainment industry. You were recently in the uh, Fear Factor Celebrity? Yes, yeah. Okay. So I'm in the entertainment industry. As I said, I wear two hats as mm. like in my daily professional life. Right. So, uh, How um, was the experience in Fear Factor? Oh, uh, it was amazing. Would I, you do it again? Yes, I will do it again, yeah. <laughs> and to survive longer too. Right. You got ousted in the fourth episode, you <laughs> yes, said? Yes, absolutely right, yeah. Okay, and how did that happen? How did you lose out? Well, um, the Fear Factor is like, it was a horse drag. So <laughs> basically my partner and I, was actually um, holding on on the horse. Right. So there was reeling and then we on the ground. So the horses will be moving at a faster momentum and we on the ground and will be dragged by the horse. And you, you're trying our to swipe legs, some Our stuff? legs are chained to each right. other okay. and facing each other and I'll be holding a bat and then after that I'm supposed to hit the cones by the side so while the, the horse is moving. The objective is to hit as many cones yes, as possible. Yes, to hit as many cones <laughs> as I not to be eliminated. And of course, unfortunately, my man the Rizuki. the Rizuki. Right. So um, my, my bat actually slipped from my hand. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Your Rizuki lies elsewhere. <laughs> uh, in, in financial investment uh, yeah, strategies. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, we understand that you use uh, 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 a very usable tool you have here. Yes, you can yeah. perhaps share with us. It's called the Samsung uh, 80 Smart yes, it's PC. Yes, Samsung 80 Smart PC Pro. Okay. Um, okay how, because, how does it help you? Well, I think the amazing part of this is um, this actually able to assist me as I, you know, in my daily life because um, I have the convenience of using this as a tablet mm. and also a laptop as well. Yeah, I noticed that so it can be So if I can oh, actually wow. detach it and instantly become uh, like a an, tablet, like, yeah, like a an tablet, iPad. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's so much larger though. It's so much larger as, and it's amazing to me because uh, sometimes I can get a bit blurry of my vision. So I need, you know, <laughs> like to really like see it. <laughs> yeah, I really need to see it properly. And I think um, one of the greatest things is uh, that it assisted me on my on-the-go life mm. uh, because um, because sometimes carrying a laptop, you know, it can be too heavy and too big. So, so some, you, you actually just detach it from uh, this and then carry it separately without carrying this? Yeah, depending ah. on the objective, you know, of, okay. uh, of, my, of my actions. Yeah. So if I want to do a corporate presentation, then I'll use it as a notebook. Mm. But if I want to do my Amsing hosting or even send mails in the car, send mails, please, but uh, that's not highly encouraged. Park at the site <laughs> before yes, you send your yeah. mails. Um, okay, don't be telling viewers to exactly, do Exactly, exactly. So, you know, that's not very good. Yeah. Um, but there are times that really emergency times, you just need to press that send button. Yeah, that's is like where I think Samsung 80 Smart PC Pro is like, assist me. Uh, in terms of apps, are there like uh, apps that you can't live without that uh, you've uh, you know gotten used to having uh, having this? Product? Um, I think I think a few apps that are completely important to me. It's uh, mail, and then after that, I I have news, mm -hmm. which uh, this news is part of the Windows uh, 8. Mm -hmm. um, they have prepared for for all of us. And um, this is actually an exposure to the world news, mm. so um, so you really know that what's happening around the world. Mm. And sometimes uh, before meeting clients, I think a B Bloomberg app is like, it's uh, equally important. Mm. It's all and available. Yeah, it's all available. Yeah, how so do you it's really it? handy. How do you access those apps? Oh, how do I access those apps? Um, it's actually in the store, so ah. it's exactly the same, you know, as how you're able to download the apps. Like for my phone, because I use a, a S3. Yes. But the S4 is out. Oh, the S4, <laughs> yes. the S4 is out, yeah, just over the last weekend. Yeah. So, you know, so everything is it's in here, mm -hmm. and the most amazing part, it uses Windows 8. So you're able to run like two or three or, or multiple apps. At the same time? Oh wow! So I'm able to Skype with a friend of mine yeah. who's staying, you know, in US. At the same time, able to send mail to my client. Uh, and what and is it? Is it multiple screen? Or it's, how does it it's work? It's multiple, yeah. So for example, if I open like Twitter, yeah, perhaps. and then after that, I get to check, you know, I 
I'm, 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 I'm tweeting. At the same time, I get to read my world news oh. by the side. Okay. So if you want to go to Facebook, all right, you know, I'm on Facebook oh, right wow. now. Oh, wow, there you go. You, you guys should see this. It's, yeah. it's, it's really, really, really interesting. Exactly. Because, uh, this is how you can easily pull in whatever it is that you wanted to read, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so it's by the side over here. So now I'm reading news here. Yeah. So, okay, oh, okay. now What's I can go Twitter? back to my Twitter. So, and Facebook? Yeah, and so if I want to play games. Oh, wow. And uh, if I want to, uh, for any fanatic, you know, who wants to, to, to get, you know, Jimmy Oliver's recipe, Instantly, as I have Jimmy Oliver's recipe here as well. Oh wow! It's yeah. so user friendly. So, so it's really, I mean, um, it's it's really a suitable gadget for me mm. in the expect of my working lifestyle. I have one question. Wait. Do, yeah. Wait. Is oh, it wait. is it something that is portable? Weight it weight wise. Well, it depends on um, it depends on the individual. I personally find that it's it's manageable because of the uh, durability. Okay. I prefer it to be. It's not too heavy. Okay. But of course, uh, there are some people that find it heavier than the, right. the other gadgets. Right. To me, it's, I find that um, it, it, it fits perfectly. But it's me. a two-in-one. That's why it's yes. amazing. Yes. Yeah. Right. So you can actually link it back up to be a notebook. So it, it looks like you know you can carry it anywhere and do yes. a lot of work. Yes, that's at very any true. Given time, right? That's very true. Yeah. Fantastic. So you know, like you can actually uh, you can actually like while you are in the car, you know, trying to to really get all your information right, you know, to be in the right position, mind keyboard can be on the corporate table mm. and once I enter into the meeting room I can attach it immediately connect to the projector and that's it wow. I can start doing my corporate presentation. No, that's fantastic because mm. uh, I use different uh, gadgets and I have a laptop then yeah. I have an iPad and yeah. I have my phone yeah. and I have like three different and it's gadgets. it's everywhere around yes. Yeah and yeah. it gets really cumbersome sometimes because you're wondering like oh man should I use my iPad this time around should I use my uh, notebook this time around but this gives you the <laughs> flexibility of having both Precisely. And taking what you need at that yeah. kind of time. So the first time I saw it, I just can't take my eyes off of it because yeah. it's such a beauty. How long that, have you been um, using it? I've been using this for the past uh, three months. Okay. Yeah, and I think ever since then, um, it has changed my life in terms of um, giving me the, uh, the the flexibility mm -hmm. and also the convenience of, of using a tablet and a notebook. Okay. And, um, like it. and it's really efficient, you know, because I think to me, one thing is very difficult is resistant to change. I was exactly yes, like yes. you, yes. you know, I have a tablet, I have a keyboard, and I just have a phone. Yes. So I know that each and every device yeah. functions for what. Yeah. Uh, so it was quite difficult for me at the beginning for me to know that, oh, how am I going to have, you know, a, a, a keyboard? and a, a notebook and a tablet at the same time, yeah. it's going to be really, really difficult for me. Right. But I think after a while, like when you use it, you get a hang of it yeah. and you just enjoy it. No, I, I just realized, you know, one of the, uh, the great advantages is that you have everything in that same yeah. platform, in the same media, yeah. uh, whether it's a notebook or an iPad or a, a, or a tablet or a phone. Yeah. Uh, the, the key thing is that having everything stored in one common place, yeah. as opposed to, oh, I left it in the other device yes. whatever the device yes, might be yeah. and it's like oh I, I completely forgot about it and then like did I thumb drive it so yes. this one everything is here yes everything is here and um, and it's not individually stick because you know I have like Dropbox as well mm -hmm. I was able to store all my information mm. you know in a Dropbox and um, it's, it's really amazing because it, I would it, never ever lose some of my files. It looks fantastic too. Yeah, it, it? it really does look very, very fantastic. Clarity is just amazing. Mm. Sensitivity. You know, sensitivity is something that you never have to uh, worry about with Samsung. I, I find it sometimes to be too sensitive. <laughs> like, you know, even if I, f I feel sometimes even before I touch it, it, it already has activated. Like, wow, it knows that I'm going <laughs> in that direction. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. And, and clarity because it has this uh, amazing, uh, you know, they, they make TVs. So they make one of the best screens ever. Yeah, absolutely right. And so um, in terms of like, if I want to have a different uh, a mode of writing, mm. I can use my S Pen, ah. so my S Pen can be detached okay. from the uh, screen as well. Right, great. And I can actually, it's, it's really amazing because um, in all these smaller buttons, I was able to use my S Pen as a for writing or even of any, you know, like if you want to do any rough notes, it will just automatically... Um, no, it, that's, that's really good because sometimes when you want to write, you don't want to write with your finger, it's horrible. Yes, yes, yeah. Like, you know, there's some people, like, like sometimes you just do not want to have your... Your, your thumbprints, mm. you know, yes. on the screen. Correct, because you know, you, when you swipe, you actually see that swipe line, yes. and sometimes you've got just an oily thing. It's exactly, just really, really exactly. Now. So to me, the S Pen, you know, uh, became a very useful function. Okay. 
to really r do my writing. Okay, fantastic. And um, when I attend, you know, seminars or even talks, when I want to do really rough writing, as pen is like, it's uh, really good for me to jot everything down. Thank you very much for sharing everything with yeah. us, Arthur. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, hopefully, you'll get some uh, investments uh, who will be able to diversify a little bit more. Yes. Uh, and uh, to all those out there, you want to find out a little bit more about the Samsung Ative Smart PC Pro, do check out uh, at your local dealers. I'm sure there's plenty yep, available in some out there. Yep, in Samsung stores, exactly. And um, yeah, I think um, that's the gadget for you to leave your life. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much for watching. But I'm today. That's all the time that we have. Do catch us again tomorrow as usual, 9 a.m. See you then. Bye. Thank you.